Today, I'm going to attempt to cover how to receive the love of God and what we must do in order to become His love for others. I'm going to use John 3.16 and 1 John 3.16 as a starting point for understanding. John 3.16 tells us how much God loves us and leads us to receive Christ on the inside. 1 John 3.16 focuses on how we can love like God and leads us to abide or remain in Christ. Before we get going, I want to encourage you to look up the scriptures that I put on the screen all throughout this video. Let's now get started. Many people in the world have heard John 3.16. It might be one of the best known scriptures in the world. John 3.16 brings many that believe on Him to confess with their mouth and receive salvation. Because Romans 10 verses 9 through 10 tells us that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's a wonderful thing to receive the love of God and obtain salvation, but this is only the beginning and we should not stop there. Let's now look at the other John 3.16. You find it in 1 John 3.16 which says, By this perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. We are not supposed to stop at receiving Jesus in our heart. Christ Jesus laid down his life for us, and he is our shining example of how we should live. John 15:13 says, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. So to understand John 3.16 and 1 John 3.16, we must look at them through the lens of love. God loved us and gave us his Son. We see this love and give it to others by laying down our lives. We become the same love that we received. It's a very beautiful picture. So now the question is, how do we become His love? To understand, we must look at John 15 verse 5, which says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. What this means is we must remain in Christ if we are going to lay down our lives for others and become His love. You might be asking yourself, is it even possible to become His love? Yes, it is possible, but only to those that are in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Just like Christ became the love of God to the world, as mentioned in John 3.16, we can become the love of God to others if we remain in Christ, because we become a new creation. Now I will lay out an approach to remaining in Christ that you can follow. By no means is this some kind of formula, but hopefully it will lead you to remain in Christ. Because if you remain in Christ, you will become like Him. You will become the new creation that His precious blood paid the price for, and you will no longer live for yourself. You will be dead to self and alive to God through Christ Jesus. Let us now go through the steps that can lead you to staying in Christ. Step 1. Apply His blood. Wash yourself clean with the blood of the Lamb. Apply it to every area of your life and repent from all sin daily. 
Don't let a day go by that you don't apply his precious blood to your life. Step 2. Forgive others as Christ has forgiven you. Be quick to forgive by always remembering how much God has forgiven you through his love, through his Son, Jesus Christ. Step 3. Read his word. He is the word made flesh. The Bible points to him, so if you want to remain in him, you need to know about him. Do this daily in order to have the Word reveal the thoughts and intents of your heart so you can change. Step 4. Pray to Him. You cannot remain in Him if you do not communicate with Him. You must continually pray like the Bible says. Jesus prayed a lot when He walked on the earth and He told us that He and the Father are one. I believe our prayer life reflects what our relationship with God looks like. Step 5. Focus on Him. You can do this through spending quality time reading His Word and praying to Him. You must focus on Him to remain in Him, because He is the light. Anytime you lose focus of Him, repent. Without the light, you will be in darkness and Christ has no part in the darkness. Step 6. Obey Him. If we truly want to walk in 1 John 3.16, then we must love through obedience. We do what the Word tells us to do. We obey the truth through the Spirit in order to love. Step 7. Die for Him. He wants us to die to ourselves and live for Him. He purchased us with his precious blood, so it is reasonable to give him what he paid for. By doing these things, we become his love. So in summary, if you apply his blood for forgiveness, then forgive others. If you read his word and pray in order to focus on him, if you obey him and die to yourself, if you do all these things, then you will become His love on this earth for others. It's not a small thing to accomplish, and it will take your reliance upon Christ in order to achieve this. It's not your love, but the love of God flowing through you that makes it possible for you to become His love. I encourage you to start down this path today. The Bride of Christ must come to this place of love. Remember, perfect love casts out all fear.